The results may be disputed, but to these Pakistani voters, no matter. Imran Khan and his PTI party seem headed for government. The people of not only who support PTI, but also the people of Pakistan uh, can look forward to a golden era. Khan took a long road to get here. First, coming home as cricket world champions in 1992. No one got more love than team captain Khan. Then came his jump into politics, his promise to eliminate corruption. Years later, voters could cast their ballots for him this time around. Just hope that uh, it brings something good in the future. Rooting out government rot as promised would shake Pakistan to its core and could lessen the military's domestic power, says this observer. Then Pakistan will be in a much, much better place. And if Pakistan's in a better place, the region's in a better place. Uh, and internationally, we're all a lot better off. Notably missing from the ballot, three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, recently arrested and sent to prison. This is the source of Nawaz Sharif's troubles, thousands of kilometers from Pakistan here in London. His family bought four luxury apartments in that building, apparently using offshore accounts, and that got him arrested on corruption charges back home. His brother, Shabazz Sharif, ran in his place. He claimed the election had been rigged and that Pakistan's powerful security establishment was tilting the vote for Khan. Ballots were being counted well into the night, but for Khan supporters, celebrations were already underway. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.